Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. And man, it's looking really dismal for Disney stock. Yes. They are flirting with the lowest close in nearly nine years. Are they flirting or they've gone down? I think they've gone under. They might have. Oh, no, yeah. This, is, this morning. They've gone down. They've past. gone down. Because I know I've been watching it for two or three days. Well, longer than that. Because I keep seeing it keeps getting close to what the, the last uh, 52 week low was, which was like 80. Oh, yeah. No, they, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I was watching it and, um, and it kept getting close, but it wasn't going under. And then you told me this morning they were saying it was going to, it was getting close. And then we just checked. It was like it had gone down even further. It was like it 82. Is that, that current? That's current. Oh, my gosh. It's at 80. Holy shit. Well, it's not closed. That's after hours trading. And so 82. Four, so today's day range went from 82.46 to 85.95. So it hit 82.46 at some point today. And yeah. that's like the lowest it was before was 84 or something. Uh, yes. And now it's down. Holy it's gone down hell. more than $2 below that. Yeah. So, yeah, it was 83.83 83 in 2014. That was the lowest it's been. It hasn't been under $84 in a very, very long time. So this is bad. This is very bad. This is really bad. This is like catastrophic for Disney. Holy hell. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Um, I unloaded my Disney stock about a year or two ago because I kind of saw this coming, and I'm glad I did. Uh, I don't know if this is a good time to buy or not, but this is a hell of a dip. Disney is just nosediving. Mm -hmm. I mean, if well, people are buying the dip, you think it'll start coming back up, and it's not. No, uh, I think what's going on is that I mean, they're not really speculating the cause of it, but I can tell you what the cause is the Disney brand is damaged, there's no clear path forward, they don't seem to know what the hell they're doing. There's talk that they might, you know, sell off part of the company. Um, you know, the strike in Hollywood, they don't know when they're going to have movies to bump them back up. The theme park attendance is down. Take your pick. Right. I mean, Marvel, I just did a story today on Pirates and Princesses. They had now the director for the um, Thunderbolts going on about, oh, it's going to be so new and different and unexpected. And they're all keep saying it's going to be unexpected, new and different for these Marvel movies. The problem is they're failing because people want Marvel movies. They don't want, oh, new and unexpected. Because every time you say that, it means basically bullshit you don't want. Like, look at Eternals. Yeah. And as no. people, people are seeing that and they're like, nope, not interested. Everybody is looking at like, look, you, you do a search for Disney stock. All the news is negative and it all ties into their piss poor decisions. We've got the Florida situation with Ron DeSantis. We have the Snow White situation. We have rumors that they're going to sell to Apple. We have the strikes, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we have their streaming losses. I mean, again, take your pick. It's, it's, it's a freaking... You know, I mean, the deck is so stacked against Disney at this point. Like they, they, they have dealt themselves a very bad. And of hand. course, the Motley Fool buy the dip. They're buy always, the they're dip. Up Disney's, they're up Disney's ass so hard it's ridiculous. So now all the talk of Apple buying them Disney's again. Disney's butt plug. Disney's butt plug. <laughs> Does it have Mickey Mouse ears? <laughs> well, I hope not. That would be painful. Uh, Look like balls. <laughs> Depending which way you put it in. So yeah, Apple. Apple buying Disney is coming up again. This is this is just freaking ridiculous. Uh, institutional owners may consider measures as Disney Disney's recent drop adds to long term losses. Oh my god! That was a couple days ago. It was before it dropped even further. That was before it dropped. I even know yesterday day before it had gone back up. It was like not like great, but it was like it was hovering at eighty five, eighty six. Then it got like back up to like eighty seven or eighty eight. Well, I checked the other day, and now it, I didn't expect it to go down this far. The lowest it's closed in nine years, guys. Uh, so this is coming from Yahoo Finance uh, via Reuters. Shares of Walt Disney were down 3.7% on Thursday, hitting their lowest level in nearly three and a half years. And now it's like its lowest level, lowest, lowest closing since like 2014. Mm -hmm. With some investors betting that a further price drop is in the cards in the next few months. Disney stockholders are scrutinizing the company's turnaround plan after Chief Bob Iger earlier this month promised a mix of price hikes Across its streaming properties, yes. more ads and cost cuts. Well, then they, they did a thing. Uh, I forgot what country it was in. Where they were talking about Disney Plus and what was coming out. And it was all about docu-series. It was just a bunch of docu-series. Because it's cheap. And he said they're, they're going to be more 
Uh, they're going to be more picky about the content they produce. Which I and disagree sp- with. But they're going to spend less on it, too. Well, they're spending less on it. I mean, I guess if you're picky or you spend less than just in general. But um, I think they need to be more picky about what they produce. I think they need to, to put quality over quantity. Um, I do think they need to do that, but it might be too little too late. Yeah. Trading sentiment leaned toward bearish bets with uh, put options that would guard against the stock slipping below $80 by mid-September or mid-October. And we're among, well, we don't know. Let's see what happens at the end of their fiscal year. Yeah, that's the end of September. It's, the new year starts October 1st. If it's a shit show. Well, you won't get that call until November. Yeah, I but probably, people, people have a pretty good November. idea. If they start laying a bunch of people off, if they start canceling a bunch of stuff, if they start uh, consolidating divisions in September and October, you know it's bad. Mm-hmm. Um, they already did that already once. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, put options convey the right to sell shares at fixed price in the future. Disney's stock was also dragged by weakness in the broader market. That's true. The, the, the entire market's down. Investors yeah, turn cautious. Fair. I want to point that out. Yeah. yeah. But Disney is taking a hit more than than uh, other companies. And look. Disney is a luxury item, right? Disney is something that people are going to cut loose, whether it's, uh, you know, the streaming or the entertainment or the theme parks or the cruises or whatever, as they tighten their belts. And now they're saying, we're going to raise our prices. And people are hearing that and they're like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't, I mm-hmm. don't need to do any Disney anything right now. You're going to raise your prices on Disney plus, but the shows are garbage not going to subscribe but ironically, anymore. ironically, we know they're shoving more people into the parties, like the Mickey's Not So Scary or Halloween, and it's sold out for August and all of September. So people are willing to pay, the, and their prices are, like, way higher than they used to be a few years ago. Like, we're yeah. significantly higher, and they're still paying it. So the ones they got going down are still paying it. So the Dow falls 135. This was uh, 11 o'clock this morning. Right, so it was not just Disney. I don't make that abundantly clear. Yeah, but they're saying Disney is one of the biggest falls. It, yes. You know, and again, when people are look, my personal opinion, this is my armchair. I'm not I'm not a, a financial analyst by any means, right? But if if you look at where the country is right now, we are in a recession. People are cutting back on spending, and Disney is a very easy thing to cut. Now, if Disney was owned by another company like Apple, people still need their cell phones, you know. And that's that's, that's you know, Comcast propped up Universal during the pandemic. I'm just saying. So it would make sense if they would go down that that road. But like, there is no future for Disney. We don't know what the hell is going on with Disney. Nobody knows what the hell is going on with Disney. Not even Disney. There is no plan. Bob Iger came back. There is no plan well, other than to cut initiate expenses. A plan now. It's going to take Years. a while to, to work out. Like, I mean, they might go down further before they go up again. I mean, not necessarily right now. I'm saying overall. Well, I mean, look at it from, from a consumer's point of view, right? You've got all this talk about, you know, Snow White drama, right? Which is, sounds like garbage. But literally everyone hates it. Uh, TikTok, places that usually lean like more to the left, they're all mocking it too. Everybody's mocking it. So you've got that dominating the headlines. And then you've got all of their movies being massive misfires. And they tried to come up with excuses, but they don't hold water because other studios, their movies are doing fine. Except for Blue Beetle that blazes on water. Except for Blue Beetle in The Flash. Uh, irony. And, Shazam 2 and Black Adam. Anyway, most other studios, their movies are doing fine. The Disney blockbusters are not busting blocks anymore. It's not working. Um, Disney Plus subscribers are down. The shows are getting panned. They've got a strike. Disney is actually in the crosshairs more than other studios, I think, with the strike. They always bring, you know, Disney up. Yeah, they're always one of the first ones mentioned. Yeah, those two mostly, yeah. And... It doesn't look like there's going to be any resolution anytime soon, which means there's not going to be any new content anytime soon. So why the hell would you pay more if you're not going to get anything new on Disney Plus? That's what people are looking at. And then the theme park attendance is down. People can't afford to go to the theme parks. And and you know what what's coming in the box? All the Marvel movies have been pushed back. We don't know what the hell's up with Star Wars. Well, people, I think, you know, your core audience, they're like, what is Disney? Who's Disney for at this point? Because, you know, you see like, well, we're for families. What we, they have their thing. We're for families. And it's like, but some of your stuff you've been putting out doesn't indicate that. And I think I think that's biting them in the ass. Yeah. I think they got too political, which is not helping yeah. them. A lot of people are like, you know what? Because there are people that were like diehard Disney fans. They're like, anything Disney puts out, we will consume it. 
And now yeah. they're like, you know what? There's a whole new world, a whole new world, a whole new world of entertainment out there. We don't need Disney. We can literally go anywhere else and get the same kind of fix, or we can watch the old stuff that we already own on Blu-ray and DVD. We don't have to watch any new Disney anything mm -mm. because most of it's not worth watching. And this is a huge problem, right? Because Disney was known for years for churning out mostly at least acceptable quality stuff. Mm -hmm. And lately it's all been hot trash. Most yeah, of it. The live actions too. That's another thing. People are just like, would you please stop making the live actions? And when you hear about what, what are they going to make next? More live actions. People are like, no, we don't want this. Please stop. Yeah. And they just won't listen. And then when they do poorly, they're like, oh my God, it's because of the racist, misogynist, isophobic, whatever. It's never our fault. It's always everybody else's fault. I mean, look how much money they lost. Just look at the headlines here. Look how much money they lost on Dial of Destiny. Look at how much money they lost on Pixar. On Now, Elemental, I guess, wound up doing better than they thought it was going to do, but still. So they say. So they say. You have to take their word for it, because now, now it's coming out, apparently, that, that Indiana Jones lost more money Oh, not then what, surprised by what that. Was reported they, that. How many times did they delay it? I mean, yeah. I was surprised they said that it didn't. Yep. Um, so we have the drama going on in Florida. That's an ongoing issue. And they'll probably, you know, in reaction to that, they're going to raise their prices in the theme parks again. I'm sure they will. Uh, it's just all bad news. The Snow White, all of it. It's just bad news. There is no good news coming out of Disney. And I think every everybody is aware of it. Everybody is making fun of it. We were We were years ahead of the curve. I think if they would say tomorrow, hey, we're not going to do live action remakes anymore. We're going to cancel those. Or the ones we have them play, we'll finish. We'll put them on Disney Plus and we're not going to, you know, people yep. would probably be like, I, I think that would boost it. People are just like, no, that you're putting all your, your, your eggs into those baskets that nobody wants. Nobody wants Disney anymore. This is, we keep trying to tell people this. It's like, it's not just us being negative. It's not, it's literally everybody. Like people yeah, I can't be the vocal are, minority. No. Stock wouldn't do this. It was a vocal minority. Nine years. Because nobody sees a path forward for Disney. Everybody hates Disney. Now the people that stand for Disney all these years are turning on them because of the strikes. Which I think is hilarious. It's like, you people were like, oh my God, it's just the Nazis that don't like Disney. It's like, oh my God, Disney are Nazis. Mm -hmm. They won't give the they're writers. Fascists. They're, money they're fascists. They're oh money God. grabbing they're fascists. They're designed their clothes. Those poor actors. I mean, at this point, like, yeah, they got nothing. There's nothing in the pipeline that's coming out that looks any good. So question, you know? when they, they delayed, they're delaying the Emmys and stuff because of the strikes. So when the, when the, those awards happen again, are the actors going to come in, in outfits that are just like from like Walmart and Target? Cause they're not allowed to wear designer clothes because you know, Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, wearing designer clothes means that you're a fascist and you know, how dare Bob Iger not give them money when he's wearing designer clothes. So I'm assuming they no longer are going to be allowed to wear designer clothes. Yeah, we just want to make a living wage, guys. We want to make a living wage, and eleven thousand dollars a week isn't enough to live on in L.A. Well, that's the writers, but yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like you know, you know. So this whole thing is going to get really ugly, really quick. And I, I, I do not, I do not expect the next earnings call to go well. I'm just curious to see what happens in the next. Oh well, today's uh, what? Today's Thursday. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like one more day this week that they'll have the stock market open. So I'm really curious to see where it goes by next like next week, like Monday or Tuesday. Because Monday is usually meeting day and Tuesday is usually when they make announcements. Yeah. So I'm kind of curious to see where we are like a few days from now. Yeah. Well, it's still dropping after hours. So I don't well, know, guys. A little bit, but yeah. I don't know, guys. I mean, I thought it was pretty shocking they were under $85. And here we are. I've been watching it because I was waiting for it to, clo to creep close to where the, the, the old low was, but I did not expect it to go that far that fast. I I don't even I don't even know what to say. Like if, if you haven't gotten it through, yeah, it opened at 8551. Yeah, I was gonna say because it was it was back up to 86 or something, 87 yeah. just the other day. And then but I have been keeping an eye on it because I've been waiting to see if it would go below the 84 or 70 or whatever, what 17 or whatever it was before. And and I was not expecting it to to go down to eighty two, and if it keeps dropping, I'm really curious to see where it goes like tomorrow. Yeah, but people might buy the dip, which might artificially inflate it temporarily. I I, I don't know what to say anymore. It's like th this company is in massive massive trouble. Everybody's seeing it. It's not just the Nazis. It's not just the alt right. It's this company is in deep shit. Like, well, just the fact that even though 50 last year it only went to 118 a share. And how much was it? Like 
uh, before Two, the pandemic. Two hundred and one dollars when they had like they had how many billion dollar movies that year? And they were bragging like about that. And then you were like, yeah. you're like, it's going to drop. And they're like, no, it's not. Oh, you're just. Oh, like my God. We had people. Haters. Yeah. How dare you? We had people coming into our comments when they their stock was riding high. And I said, this is a one off. This is never going to happen again because Disney stock has usually been pretty consistent. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and this is this is a, even unusual to see it drop this much. But it's never been like a massive overperformer. I said, no, it's, they're riding high because they have Disney Plus coming and they had a whole bunch of billion dollar movies. It's going to drop. No, it's not clownfish. Ha ha. Disney's not dead. Disney's not dead. What do you know? It's like, bitch, please look, look past the last six months and look ahead for the next. Now we couldn't have seen the the pandemic coming obviously, yeah. but, but like, look, you know, years out end game was the big send off basically at that point. And we knew that the MCU was going to be screwed after that. And there wasn't much going on in the theme parks. And then universal was saying, Hey, you know, Mario's coming and all this other stuff. They don't have, there, there is no plan. Like I don't even think, Chapek had anything going other than to try to pinch pennies. And here comes Iger and he's like, I don't know what to do. Star Wars is broken. Marvel's broken. Live action's broken. Theme parks are broken. Disney plus is broken. What the hell are we going to do? I don't know. You should have thought that before you broke it all. You should have thought of that before you broke it all. Like, I mean, for everybody praising and all of this is Iger's fault because all the, most of it is Iger's fault. Yes. 95% of this is Iger's fault, right? Because he set all this stuff up before he oh put... God, when we said that, when they brought him back, everyone's was like, oh my God, he's going to He's going to save it. He's a savior of Disney. And I'm like, no, he's the destroyer of Disney. He and is the destroyer. And catching on. It's like, better late than ever, I guess, you know? Yeah, he am become death, uh, for sure. So we were talking about in the car today. I was like, when, when did the Disney we know die officially? I think it was when Eisner got pushed aside for Iger. I think that's I when it I mean, changed. I don't think it did right away. I Not, think it no, took, we, I took some time, but then I think when it became all about acquiring and less about, you know, Im- imagining and, and, you know, coming up with their own ideas and they got rid of Lassiter and other things like that. I think that it was, you know, clear that they were just about being the Borg and when they became yeah. the Borg, then they became nothing. Yeah. And that's just it. That, that was the one thing Disney always had, even during the seventies, even after Walt's death, they were still scrappy. They were still pretty creative. They were a little directionless, but they were working on Epcot and they're working on. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I don't care. I'm going to say it. Their foray into politics was a big mistake. And that was before Chapek went out. Cause Iger had himself out there trying to get himself an ambassadorship with China Yeah, and they were out there, you know, doing all this stuff and pushing, you know, the way they were, who they were backing and all that stuff before. And there were choices being made and they were gradually, you know, like changing voice actors because they weren't because they, they, those characters are coded a certain way. And then they're like changing attractions because, oh, they might be insulting somebody. And when they had the article about making sure the chimpanzees were authentic. I know. right? Because, you know, they're animatronics. You want to laugh with them, not at them. I'm like, they're fucking chimpanzee animatronics. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't think the chimps are going to be offended if they're not represented clearly and accurately. And when they started going down that path. I'm like, this is that's it. I'm sorry that that's they they can point a lot of their problems back to that because everybody just thinks and then Snow White, they've gone too far. A lot of the backlash of Snow White is because everybody says they've gone too far. Even the people that are out there in the far left are like, they've gone too far. Like, you know, you didn't jump the shark. You like launched it with a rocket backpack and you're like another ocean, you know? To the moon, Alice. I'm just saying um, they, they've gone yeah. too far. And I think people, you know, bad choices, you know, making it political, doubling down on politics, pushing for certain things. I think that they've alienated a lot of people and not everybody in the people they were going after are laughing at them. You know, what's what's ironic about this, though, is, you know, all, all those decisions, right? That, and this is going back, you know, five or six years with the diversity and inclusion. But when the shit hits the fan. Who's the first person they throw overboard? Right, the DEI person. The DEI person. And then once they do it, everybody's like, oh, Disney's throwing their DEI person overboard. Well, it must be okay to do that now. Let's all fire our DEI people. Let's mm-hmm. try to course correct this. Well, the, Disney was the first one to make comments about the writers and stuff. And they said yeah. that, you know, here's how you get out of a union. And here's how you, you have to keep working or you're going to be fired. Yeah. And then when they did it, everybody else started doing yep. it. When Iger stood up against, you know, the actors and stuff, you know, everybody else started doing it. And now he's like, oh, 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 I'm going to backpedal at the meeting to save face. But, you know, you, everybody already hates you. You needed to do this five years ago, right? The iceberg was there. Everybody could see, anybody that was paying attention, 
could see the iceberg. Like, you know, you guys, it's too much too soon. It's going to crash eventually. There's no plan. Star Wars at that point was already broken. The iceberg was the size of Matterhorn and they still didn't see it. Yeah, they didn't see it. It's like, you guys are going to hit this thing head on. Like, yeah, you're flying high now, but it's not going to last. There, there is no long-term plan. And that's it. It just seems like the, the plan, and for all this talk of Iger being this amazing CEO, I have just seen acquisition and reaction. He acquires stuff, and then he reacts to his dumbass mistakes mm-hmm. later. But he doesn't think like, is Star Wars actually a good fit? Do we have competent people here at Disney that care as much about no, Star what Wars? what they all did was we'll make it fit when we want it. And it's like that's we'll how it We'll turn it into Disney princesses in space and that'll, that'll that, be well, that's not even Yeah, it's like that, it doesn't even work. And then they, they just keep making these decisions. And I guess that they, they did this themselves. They had, they had to gentify and politicize everything. So just making entertainment that was good. Oh, no, it all has to have a message. And which it all did have messages before. They were just really, you know, really crafty about how they did it. Now you guys are just so stupid. It's ridiculous. It's like, like you're literally hitting me with a message right now because it's so. When the, the the people on TikTok think that you've gone too far with Snow White, yeah, you know you done fucked up. Yeah, and that's just it. This is this is. I mean, I, I'm gonna go on right. This is probably one of the worst positions this company has ever been in, and it's amazing how quickly it happened. They have Disney parody sites, and it's gone so far that people are believing the parody sites, and yeah. they have to do. I had to do an article that they were not changing uh, Carousel Progress, the end of Carousel Progress, to to make the daughter trans and a bunch of other stuff. People thought it was real when they made the joking article about it, a parody article. They thought it was real because it's gone so far. And people just automatically believe it now because, oh my God, that sounds like something they would do. Look at look at Snow White, right? Like if you told me 10 years ago, Disney was going to remake Snow White in live action. Okay, they were already doing that. They did Cinderella and all that. Okay, fine. Okay, well, we're going to remake it. But uh, yeah, we're going to make sure that the, uh, the, the there's not a romantic uh, angle to it. We're going to make sure that it doesn't have dwarfs. Wait, what? It doesn't have dwarfs in it because that offends people. Like, what the hell movie are you making? Oh, yeah, it's not going to be a love story. And uh, she's going to be her own person. And uh, she's not even going to be boss. white. Yeah. Yeah, she's not even going to be white. Because, you know. thought that was like, you know, a Babylon B article or something. Yeah. Right? Or The Onion back then. We've been yeah. The Onion. And and no, we're, we're, we're living The Onion. Okay, that's where we are. We're living The Fucking Onion. Mm-hmm. I don't want to live The Onion. Do you want to live in The Onion? I don't no. want to live The Onion. But that's where we are. And then they're like, why is our stock dropping? I really don't know. Take your pick. Like I said, we don't know exactly which reason it is. There's a list. I mean, it, can, and it keeps getting longer by the pick. week. Take your so pick. So take your pick. Yeah. So uh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say anymore. There's not going to be any good news coming out of Disney anytime soon. They're in deep shit. They're in the briar patch and they're not getting out. Like it's but you don't want to say Briar Patch. We got rid of that. Oh, yeah, we got rid of that, too, because that's offensive. Yeah, we got rid of everything that's freaking, yeah, whatever. Whatever. All right, we got to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.